For your chance to win a daily prize of £1,000, download the Raffler app today. There's a referral link in the description to the Google Play and App Store. Use that link and get an extra £100 bonus added to your daily prize. Also, over on G2A.com, use the promo code CHES to get a discount on your Xbox, PlayStation codes and games. Link in the description down below. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 7 of the second season at Newcastle United. We currently sit slap bang mid-table in 10th. Hoping though, that with that game in hand that we're about to play, we might be able to jump a little bit further up the table by a number of uh, places actually. We have Stoke away from home, then Chelsea at the end of the week, and then Man United the uh, game after that. So a big episode for us here, two of the uh, better sides in the division to uh, be played first, and or to be played last, after we've played Stoke. That wasn't a slight against Manchester United, I apologise. Uh, Stoke City away from home is always a tough fixture, but well, hopefully we can do well. I fancy us, we're in okay form. We definitely played better towards the end of the last episode, considering the first game in the last episode we lost in the uh, Tyneweir derby. So, hoping to avoid any defeats against teams playing in red and white stripes in today's video. And fingers crossed we can get ourselves a win. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content. My FIFA 17 career mode video went up yesterday, so check that if you missed it. There won't be a stream tonight. I'm actually going to Chelsea West Ham tonight, as you see this, so... Uh, I'll be uh, vlogging it. There will be a match day vlog at some point over the next few days. But without any further ado, let's jump in and play Stoke away. To Imbula, to Charlie Adam. Adam into Bowie and to Jamie Vardy. That's wider the target. They're starting Jamie Vardy up top, Stoke. They've bought him from Leicester. And he apparently is the man to watch right now. Three goals in his last three games. Stoke sit fourth in the table as well. And could probably go into the top two if they beat us here. So there's a lot on the line for both sides at this early stage of the season. Fabinho works it nicely to Delefeu. We'll go through that gap looking for Iosi Perez who finds Fabinho. Who's in the box here. The right back scores his first goal for Newcastle United. A wonderful move. Our first chance of the game. First shot of the game. Newcastle 1. Stoke 0. It's been all Stoke the opening 20 minutes. But we put together one good move. Lovely ball by Iosi Perez in behind the defender. Great turn and a finish. Like a striker. Top corner. We're 1-0 up. Fabinho. That's a nice ball in towards Delefeu, who should have the pace to get there, and does. Lay that to Iosi Perez, and then back there to Dendonka, into Kovalenko. Shot from distance from Victor Kovalenko, that's well saved by Jack Butland. Very well down to his uh, right-hand side to save that. Delefeu will take the corner, float it in towards the middle. There's Koulibaly! He's headed wide. Great opportunity. Free header for the centre-back. Must do better. Gilfie. Into Dendonka. Perez makes the run. And that is perfectly weighted from Dendonka. And we'll look to move it inside to Kovalenko. And second goal. Crucial, crucial second goal. Stoke have been having so many chances before we scored. After we scored the first. And we've gone on the counter-attack. And nailed in a second goal. The ball from Dendonka was perfect. Kovalenko makes the exact right run at the right time. And the finish is just as good as Fabinho's. 2-0. Oh, Bozan, that was disgusting. Jamie Vardy skips past the defender. We'll try and close him down. Vardy gets the turn in again and scores. Well, I said a second goal would be vital because they've pulled one back already. We thankfully, though, still in front. Great turn there from Jamie Vardy. And are committed with uh, Fabinho. And unfortunately, Jamie Vardy let go before we were able to actually reach the ball. Steps in there, Fabinho, but can't get there. Neither can Tim Krull. 2-1. Perez, lay that in front of Dendonka, we'll get it to Delefeu, who perhaps with good footwork can get around the outside, the defender and has made it 3-1, so we went 2-0 up in the 39th minute, six minutes later it's 3-1, three goals in the space of six minutes take it from 1-0 to 3-1, madness, this game is coming alive, great finish from Gerard Delefeu as well, we lead by three goals to one and we're not even at half time yet, Dendonka, Play the ball over. Delefeu's got the space to run into. It's another very good sprayed pass from uh, Dendonka. Delefeu with the cross. There's Fry and Iosi Perez at the back post. And it was Iosi Perez that got on the end of it. I was in control of Kerry and Fry. But the CPU scores for me. Lovely ball again from Dendonka. The cross pinpoint accurate. And Iosi Perez makes it Newcastle 4, Stoke 1. What a game to start things off today. 
Nice ball through. Afolo gets there first. Mark Munieza out wide to Mamba Ramjuf. He's turned inside. Oh, the shot deflected off from Bemba. I think Tim Krull got something on it as well. Corner for Stoke. Close to a second for them there. That could have gone anywhere off that deflection. They're going to drill it in. And Mbemba brings it down. Win that header. Good lad. Ozzy Perez. Just turn inside. Keep the ball. Kovalenko to Vernon Anita. Lovely ball into Gerard Delefeu. Who's going to hopefully find a teammate here. And this should be five. Ozzy Perez. Five. Two goals on a great counter-attack so far in this game. And three other very, very good finishes. Newcastle, five. Stoke City, one. Oh, Perez has just taken that off Shawcross. It's terrible, terrible defending from Ryan Shawcross. Ozzy Perez on a hat-trick. And there it is. 6-1, the final scoreline. Our new biggest victory. Previously, we'd won 5-0 in the championship against Birmingham, question mark. And that was our biggest win ever of the series. We've just broken that record. Same margin, but we've scored six. 6-1 six, away from home against Stoke. You expect Stoke to be much better at the Britannia, but they've been terrible here. We are going to end with a 6-1 scoreline. There goes the final whistle. Game over. Stoke were fourth in the table before this game, and we've just annihilated them. I never expected the game to be that easy. Nine shots for them as well, three on target. They kept loads of possession, but we just kept catching them on the counter-attack. You can't do that in the Premier League. Stoke destroyed. What does that do for the league table? I mean, we wanted confidence heading into Chelsea and Man United. I think that might just give us the confidence we were after. That moves us up to fourth. We overtake Stoke. We're into the Champions League positions. Next up, first place Chelsea, followed by second place Manchester United. Wow. Let's get cracking. Rather understandably, starting the same side that uh, scored six against Stoke. I'm intrigued to see what sort of lineup Chelsea are putting out, though, because sometimes the CPU AI just doesn't put a very strong side out for Chelsea. It happens with Manchester City a lot as well. So we'll have to wait and see. Uh, Begovic, Ivanovic, Miaz got Omaru, Omaz Benequeta. See, the defence is just like Matt Miaz got an Omaru at centre back. Why? Hazard is on the bench. Quadrado's on the bench, Patshuayi is on the bench, Remy's on the bench, Courtois on the bench. Not the strongest possible Chelsea lineup. Still a strong one, but not as strong as it potentially could be. We'll see how we get on here at home. Matic into Diego Costa, down the line towards Oscar. And Bemba trying to close him down. Azpilicueta to Oscar, back to Dave. Dave on the twisting and turning one way, then the other. He's gotten away from the defender. Here's the man, Matic into Diego Costa, back to Matic. Shot with his right foot, not his left. If, he's used, if he'd used his favoured left, I would have fancied him to score there. But unfortunately for him, tried to uh, play it with his right and scuffed it. But it was a poor clearance for me. But Rico Henry's done very well there to get in the way of the cross. And hopefully we'll win that header. We haven't done, but Dendonka will get to the second ball. Chance for a counter-attack. It was our main point of attack in the uh, Stoke game. But unfortunately, not to be this time around. Rico Henry could try a deep cross here. Deflected. Who's going to win that header? Dave is. Henry, Kovalenko, work it to Gilfi. It's not Gilfi, it's Fabinho. Ozzy Perez in a little bit of space. Can he work some space with the turn? Yes, he can, but he's fired it straight to Begovic, unfortunately. Kovalenko to Dendonka, pokes it through to Fry. He's in behind here. Kerim Fry's got William with him for company, but Kerim Fry gets the shot away. Good save from Begovic. Won't keep that in with LFA, who can't get to it, but it's a corner for Newcastle. Uh, I'm going to look for Fry actually, unless, yeah, no, he's gone to close down the man at the near post. We'll get that to Fry. How's he touch, my man? Okay. How's he finesse finish? Well, he went for accuracy on the floor. I was trying to whip it into the top corner. In the end, he tried to drill it into the bottom, but Begovic does very well. That's Pete. Mikel. Poor pass. Try and get them quickly going the other way. Carrying Fry to Kovalenko. We'll poke it to Iosi Perez, who's in behind. Can we get another goal on the counter attack? I've got a couple of people between me and the goal, but Ozzy Perez does well, and so does Azpilicueta to get the block in. Going to get the ball back into the box. Oh, Mbemba does well to intercept that, but Dave could still get it in, and has done. And Mbemba gets it away again. Back to Azpilicueta, across to Oscar on the edge of the box. Chelsea with a real sustained spell of pressure here that I'm struggling to deal with, I'll be honest. Diego Costa back to Willian. He's got Prana making moves on the right, but we've been able to force them backwards for now. It seems we're... Just trying to keep them out without actually being overly aggressive with regards going for a tackle. But what a ball in. Those crosses this year, I just... 75% uh, of the goals I concede 
are exactly that. A cross comes in from deep, defenders don't move, striker runs through, finished. Then Donker, Rick for Henry, gets it to Fry. It's done well. He's still going. No, it's a great tackle, but it's dropped here to Rico Henry. The left back! As Pelaqueta threw himself in front of it. I was 99.9% .9 sure Rico Henry was just going to smack that into the back of the net. I don't know where Dave came from there. Still working something. Jack Colbert could have an opportunity. Out muscled by Willian. Kerry Fry skips away from the challenge. Late in front of Dendonka. Dendonka with a shot from the edge of the box but Begovic with the save four minutes to go there's not much time left at all now to try and get an equaliser again the keeper's gonna come he's not gonna get there we've hit the outside the post I'm not sure who it was it may have been Koulibaly but someone hit the outside the post there Rico Henry I don't know what that was Colback Dendonka see the man running on the outside it's Kovalenko Go back through there looking for Dendonka in the box. De no, Rico Henry! Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. Chelsea are going to win this one. There goes the final whistle. It's a 1 0 defeat at home against Chelsea. That's why they're top of the table. I said they weren't starting the strongest of lineups, but it was still strong enough to beat us, unfortunately. So we go from a 6 1 win to a 1 0 defeat. Although Begovic made some good saves in that game. Nine shots, six on target. I'm pretty sure Begovic will have gotten man of the match out of that game. 8.7 with eight saves, although some of them will have been uh, him coming for crosses. For some reason, it counts, as, it counts keepers coming for crosses as saves. Not really too sure why, but never mind. We'll pick ourselves up and go again. Crystal Palace 4, Manchester City 1 is a standout result there. That knocks us out of the top four and out of the European spots altogether as well, down to sixth. Try and pick ourselves up and we'll go again against Manchester United. Mkhitaryan down the line looking for the run of Ander Herrera. Henri Saive with him, loses out the physical battle and Carrick with the header wide of the post. First chance of the game for Man United, but they miss and Ander Herrera is getting booked for chopping someone earlier on. Oh, what a ball. I'm running out of ways to describe those crosses. I really am. Just a cross out of nowhere. Nobody follows the run and into the back of the net. Time and time and time again. For Kambu. We'll look to play in Rolando Aarons. There's space for him to get into. Although I've got nobody in the box to pass to. But Rolando Aarons is doing well. That's a free kick. Right. Gilfie's on the pitch this time. I think this is actually the first time I've had the chance to uh, to have a free kick with Gilfie Sigurdsson since we signed him. Can he score it? We'll find out. Over the wall. Oh, Gilfie Sigurdsson. That's why we bought you. Wonderful free kick. Oh, the relief. The relief. I was so frustrated to keep conceding those cross headers. But what a free kick in off the woodwork. Gilfie Sigurdsson, a wonder goal. Yes. Then Donka to Saive. Oh, the footwork from Saive is actually very good there. Gets it to Bakambu. Trying to find the space for the shot. Oh, Bakambu, so unlucky. What a hit. He's come so close to a number of goals so far in his Newcastle career. He smacked a header off the bar in the opening four minutes of his debut. He's hit the post once more, I think, since then. Scored a, from the penalty spot to get his first goal for the club. And so very close to his first goal from open play there again. The woodwork denying him. Somehow Martial finds his way in behind the defender there. But Henri Saive is going to receive that pass. This is good football, actually, on the counter-attack. This is working very well. We'll look to send over the top to Delefeu. Luke Shaw misjudges the flight of the ball. And we've gotten past him. Gerard Delefeu with the cross. Pakambu underneath it. Damian wins the header. Here comes Ibrahimovic on for Wayne Rooney. This could be an interesting final nine minutes. Mkhitaryan, which way are you going, my man? He skipped past the challenge. Sean goes into Schweinsteiger. Man United have won it. Man United have won it with three and a half minutes to go. Schweinsteiger with his back to goal. Swivels and shoots in the same movement. And it's too much power on it for the keeper to handle. There goes the final whistle. It's a 2-1 defeat against Manchester United. I thought we'd done enough to pull ourselves 
out of the darkness and get a point there. Unfortunately, though, it wasn't to be. Manchester United get a 2-1 win. It was a, a game of few chances, actually, but I think we deserved the draw from that. City bounced back with a 2-0 win after losing to Palace. Oh, I'm disappointed not to have taken anything from the game against Chelsea or against Man United. And we go from fourth after the Stoke result back down to ninth again. But the table is still very tight. We're only two points off fifth, only four points off fourth. So still all to play for. Liverpool down in 17th, though. Got to be doing better than that. Southampton, Aston Villa and West Brom in the relegation zone. Chelsea, Manchester United, our two victors today stay in the top two and we loiter down in ninth. Never mind, we'll try and come back in the next episode and get ourselves a little bit higher in the league. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content. And I'll see you next time.